flip it off, flip it on, collect your $1,000, go home, let's get out of here. Welcome back to the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the entire world. Today I'm gonna to save you a lot of money, ton of money. I was called by a great customer. Uh, they own a rental house. It's not quite an investment house. It was their house that they lived in and then moved and retained it as a rental house. So keep that in mind. We're a highly repeatable customer. It's not managed by a property management company. It's not an investment firm. It's a very good customer's rental property. There is an electrical lighting circuit in the basement that is out. It's out. The customer was changing the light bulb and all of a sudden it went out. The, the homeowner is pretty well-rounded in DIY projects. He attempted to find the tripped breaker or a short. Uh, he couldn't find it. He called in an electrician. The electrician decided to remove the inner part, the can, of the recessed light. So you can fully disassemble a recessed light. This is, would be a, uh, a, like a new construction light with the cans all up in there. The junction box is on the outside. We can disassemble it all, pull the can down and get access to that junction box. And they were hoping to find a short there and they didn't. And they just wire nutted off the wires I don't know where the rest of the can is. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be tasked with trying to rebuild the, the, the can. Hopefully that goes smoothly and I can just put a light bulb in it and be done with it. That's a little bit of the background. Just wanted to jump into this video real quick and tell everybody about a flash sale on flashlights. Olight is having a flash sale tomorrow, which is the 27th. You get up to 40% off Pacific Lasers and Lights, a limited edition flashlight. I have a special link and a code called Handy. Click that link, go shopping to get yourself some flashlights. This is the one I carry every single day. This is the one that I've been using in all these videos. I'm looking for a sub panel for the basement. I, there is no sub panel. Uh, I go to the main panel and it's full, 100% full. There is like one circuit labeled basement. It's suspect to me. That would be a part of the original construction, one circuit to the basement. I pull the panel off and I see that there is conduit that goes down out of the panel and into the house. Keep in mind this is an outside panel. I know it's weird, just crazy laws in certain places. There is about four circuits coming up that go into various breakers. Some have two hots coming in wired nutted together with a pigtail to another breaker. Not the best idea. I take out my tool and I have these four wires that are going to the basement. Beep, 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 beep. No beep, 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 beeps. Go up, find the breaker. It looks like it's on, but it's not. When it's tripped, it stayed stuck to the left. Flip it off, flip it on, collect your $1,000, go home, let's get out of here. Okay, all jokes aside, no, I'm not charging $1,000. So this conduit here goes into a crawl space in the basement. Um, there is no sub panel. They come up, these are the basement circuits. And you can see this one here. I know it controls lights and some outlets in a bedroom. And it goes up to this breaker right here. And it was tripped but it was stayed in the on position. So all you do is you flip it off, flip it on, and now power is restored. Um, I'll get into how this got tripped uh, once we get to the basement. Gotta show you the basement. I'm gonna put all this back together. Just push this in, try not to electrocute myself. Good day for a game of golf. Lots of work to be to be done here on this uh, rental property here. Lots of work, holy cow, I need a new deck. The This back door is trashed. And they live next door, which is crazy. Lots of, I can suggest a ton of maintenance on this place. Okay, so things that were on that circuit were the lights in here. There. Also that GFI was on there. 
the the lights in here and get the fan off the lights are there lights in here oh my creak, creepy man it smells interesting lots of potpourri the lights in here were out the outlets in here were out and the lights in the bar were out and the the whole reason is this right there it used to have a can in it you can see how he took it all apart and it's gone now I don't know where it is well there was a broken light socket or a light bulb in there so it looked just like this one and a light bulb had broken off and the renter um, tried to put a new light bulb in on top of the broken light socket and that's what tripped the breaker so it's been going on for a couple weeks and the handyman got it done in about three minutes actually it was the second guy the homeowner was the first guy the second guy took the can took the can parts with him so i can't put it back together i told the customer i can dig this thing out of here shove it to the side and then wire in a remodel so that he would have a light today he said he's going to try to get in touch with the first guy and see if he can bring back the actual can parts that he took out of there. So I know everybody wants to know, how much am I going to charge for this? Um, and I go into detail, extensive detail, on my other YouTube channel, The Handyman Business, about this topic. My initial thought is, I'm not going to charge him anything. It was so easy, highly repeat customer, they refer me like crazy, does not want a handout. It's going to be $175, and he sent me over to his house, uh, which is just up the street to take some measurements for some more work. I guess that's why we make the big bucks when I say we. Highly skilled home service providers, tradesmen, whatever you want to call us. That's what we get paid for, to flip switches. Where other people don't know how to find the switch to flip. I uh, hope this was informative. Don't know if we're going to get to 10 minutes. I might think of something to put at the end, maybe some bonus material. Um, I, it's... It's not even noon yet. Um, I'm going to go put some solar panels on the roof of this, this magnificent beast of a truck. So that will be on the Super Secret Third channel. You can DM me on Instagram. That'll be right across the screen. Go get yourself some handyman merchandise. So check out the handyman.store. Links in the description. Uh, all tools that were used to diagnose, to troubleshoot, this problem will be linked in the description below. $175, three minutes. So I know there's gonna be some questions about the condition of that electrical panel. I wanna tell you a few things that you may have missed. Um, there were a couple circuits that were doubled up. It means that the black, the hots, there were two hots underneath one breaker. I see that more than I don't see that when I take a panel cover off. Uh, it's very common, it's an obviously you're not supposed to do that. I see mislabeled panels all the time. I see pigtailed together uh, wires. A lot of times I'll see grounds pigtailed and neutrals pigtailed and then going into the ground and neutral bus because they were too short. Something happened in the remodel or the renovation. Now, what do you do concerning a homeowner when you are presented with this situation? I do not leave anything out. He says, well, how did you fix it so fast? We spent days there. And I said, well, I had to pull the panel cover off. Told him exactly what you guys watched. I told him about the jumpers. I told him about the, um, the doubled up breakers. Told him that if he wants, what I can do is go through and get him a correct label of his panel. Because that one that was marked dishwasher is the one that went to two circuits in the basement, a lighting circuit and an outlet circuit. And I said, you know, I could get some tandem breakers and create a little bit more room so you don't have things doubled up. It's a rental house. Even though this guy is not a rental manager, they put his little money into it as needed to keep those renters there. Uh, the renters are antique dealers. That's why there's so much junk in the house but they pay their rent every month maybe during a turnover they would put some more money into it but they're not going to put it into something that isn't going to make the house more rentable told them everything they needed to know i made myself available and he wanted me wanted me to go up the street to look at some other aesthetic things on his personal house go check out olight i'm very happy to be working with them 
Uh, if you don't know who Olight is, they are they're the highest value for the money in flashlights. Um, you've seen just about every YouTuber use these. I've been using them for six years. Um, I just kind of partnered up with them in the last week, so I'm pretty excited about getting some sweet flashlights. If you watch my videos, you'll be notified whenever there is a flash sale. Now, a flash sale, they've got 40% off a very specific light that mounts to a defensive device. And uh, so I know there's a lot of guys that would be interested in getting 40% off that specific light that has a little laser beam on it. The SSTC is growing and it's growing quite fast and it's going to slow down. We're going to get to a certain certain level and then it'll I'll stop promoting it. Check the links out. Click the like button. Go get yourself a sweet flashlight. You got it uh, attached to your, your hat or you got it stuck to a piece of metal, a refrigerator, anything, a, a clamp, 